Hi everyone, so straight up, this is not a video about what artwork to see at the Rijksmuseum. It is more of a practical tips video on how to make your experience there more enjoyable because let's face it, when you go to like any museum really, sometimes it can be an extremely exhausting experience. So here are five things that you should know before going to the Rijksmuseum. Let's get into this. Buy your tickets ahead of time. So you might be thinking, uh, duh, Daniela, of course I'm gonna buy my tickets ahead of time, but you would be surprised. So when I went there, you know, there was a queue to get in and there were two families ahead of me in the queue who hadn't bought tickets and they were just turned away. And you know, one family was really trying very hard to negotiate with the security guard to be allowed in, but you know, they, they were both turned away because there just weren't you know any tickets available for that day and I felt I felt so bad for them you know they, they'd come all this way and presumably they were very excited to go to the museum and they just couldn't get in so make sure you book your tickets ahead of time and you know I managed to get mine two weeks in advance but I think with more and more people starting to travel now that that time frame is probably going to change Forget the cloakroom and go straight to the lockers. Now I actually had to ask somebody at the Rijksmuseum where the lockers were because they weren't they weren't immediately obvious. Um, and so the lockers are free to use. There is a key in the door and you don't have to pay for it or anything. And it's it's way better than queuing for the cloakroom because you, know, you have to queue to put your stuff in and then you have to queue to get your stuff out. And it's just a little bit of a faff. Whereas if you're using a locker, you can just come and go as you please and it's so much easier. Bring a small bag for valuables. Basically, you wanna be traveling as light as possible so that you can maneuver around uh, people a lot easier and you know you can get closer to the artwork as well go and see your favorite piece of artwork first so you know if you have a particular piece of art that you really really want to see at the Rikes Museum you know as soon as you get to the museum and you put your stuff in the lockers go and see that piece of artwork first like I know it, it can be quite tempting to um, you know, look at a museum, like go to a museum and do things in chronological order, like, like doing it floor by floor or section by section, but forget that. Go and see the piece that you want to see first, because it's likely that later on it's going to be more crowded, especially if that artwork is you know, particularly famous as well. Bring your own headphones. So there is a multimedia tour device that you can reserve when you buy your tickets for the museum and Personally, I I don't like these kind of devices because I have cleanliness issues and I know like these devices get cleaned, but I would still prefer not to use one. Plus it is something extra to carry as you're walking around. So what you can do is you can download the Rijksmuseum app on your phone and then you know, bring your own headphones and that is a great alternative. So if you found these tips helpful, please hit that like button. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, goodbye.